Good morning, it's Natalie, also known as Mother Goose. So I wanted to do a video today regarding if my emotional cup is full versus when it's not. When we go through life feeling empty on the inside due to different things that has happened in our life, we're much more li likely to be reactive and more sensitive and more um, take things personally. But when we find ways to fill up our cups, our emotional, spiritual cup from the inside, then we will not be as impacted of people's reaction and situation that's going on. For instance, a person that walks into a party, when they come from a good place, they're content with where they are in their life. Um, they could thrive and dream for more, but they're con content and happy with where they are. They are less likely to talk negative about the party. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they brought that. I don't know why this and that. But when you are coming from an insecure place and a lack, you are much more likely to criticize what you saw instead of giving compliments. So when you notice yourself getting frustrated more with your spouse, with your children, take a moment and look within you and see where is your emotional, spiritual cup holding. Is it where it needs to be? Do you have a good support system, a good social system, a good hobbies that you can act, participate in, um, creativity, exercise? Do you have that in your life? Things that are in your control, that are your responsibility? Because we cannot make anyone responsible for this. We're not an infant and we're not a baby. Infants and babies depend on their caregiver and their mothers for those needs to be met because otherwise they won't survive. But when you become an adult, you transition that and you're available to create that connection with your inner self and the higher power. And that's where the completeness and wholeness comes. And instead of going through life with madness and demand, you go through it with wholeness and connectivity.